Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm making a new model called an advanced parrot. And it's not the one I published earlier. It's a different one that looks a lot nicer. So I'm tempted to teach this and I've made a lot of them already. So I'm going to use a hot pink color. Well, it's not hot pink. And I'm going to have this light green on it. So let's start green side up. Uh, the reason why I'm putting green side up is because I want a pink parrot so if you want any like color parrot then start on the other side start green side up or any color and hold diagonally in half fold in half now my new method of making a square base Make this fold and make this mountain fold and make this crease and reverse fold this. And if you do not know what a reverse fold is, is you have two mountain folds as your shape and this is the valley fold. Like that. Make sure you have a sharp point here. Now you're going to make your fold at the side where this open pocket is. Fold this edge to this crease. Turn it over. And what you're going to do is you make some squash folds. So make this fold, turn it vertically, and then flatten this and make this crease align with this edge. Fold it over and repeat. Okay, turn it over. Now we're going to unfold these and make a petal fold. So fold this up like this and make these creases. You should have the creases. If you don't have the creases, then you wouldn't have made this fold. And flatten, and make sure you flatten here too, because you need this crease. Fold it down, and now turn it over, and luckily you already have the squash fold. Now fold two sides over, so you're at the left side, left side squash, and let's fold this edge, to this crease. Open this and extend the fold so that it goes to this point to this crease. Repeat. Oops, this little thing has extended, and we don't want this to extend. Let's fold it back down. That's better. Okay, make this crease, not increase, and Push it over to that edge crease. Now, make a triangle fold like this. So Align it with this edge and this crease. Something like that. I'll show you the other one. Repeat. And you could just align it. Like that. Now, you're going to... So, this is actually what it looks like. 
like that. Fold these over. And now let's go fold it over again and repeat all of that. Fast forwarding. Okay, now go to the middle layer. And now what you're gonna do is fold this edge to this crease. Make sure you do not fold this feet thing over. This is the feet. Now, Fold these layers together and fold these layers together and fold these out. So it's a whale with no arms, of, no fin, and no face. So it's just a little plain lock rock. So now we're going to fold this edge to this crease again. on both sides. Now you're going to open this and then unfold this and fold it back. So it's a longer whale that, well, it's not a whale. It's a big bird that doesn't have a head with just a large beak <laughs> what's wrong with my life okay now let's fold this edge to this crease edge crease I call it and fold it up again to this edge crease actually no that's right there now we're going to to here Oops, let's fix it a little bit. Like that. Look how much layers we have. Ooh la la. Repeat. Okay, so you have, this is going to be the tail, so you have a long stick, the lid, which is the tail. Now we're going to form the head, and we're going to shape the tail on feet a little bit more. So now let's, let's find a layer so that these feet separate. I know, it, it's not, the, the parrot will not be separated, you know, because you're going to see on the thumbnail. So, let's shoot like this now. Turn it over so you don't see his um, folds. So it's just blank. And as you can see, the green is here. The green will disappear. Though. There's going to be a little bit of green. That's okay. So, fold this down. Hmm. How far? The, well, you can go as far as you want. Not too far, though. Or else you're going to tear off the paper. Like, the good amount is so that it just touches this point here. Zoom in. So it touches that point there. And like that. So you may thinking, I'm going to repeat that on this side. Well, you're wrong. Turn it over. 
make it this is a mountain fold, so you're folding it over. And pinch that mountain fold and fold it up. A pleat. You're making a pleat. So it makes a new valley fold there. Like that. It's okay if these don't align because in that in the video I found it doesn't it's not supposed to align. So let's do that. Now you're going to fold in half this way. As you can see, everything is forming. And these might push together. That's why I like the green. But if you do not, not want this, if you do not want this color to be here, then fix the tail fold. I'm going to keep it there because I really want the green. Like that. And as you can see, the green. There's the green. That's what I found out about the video because I used to think that that wasn't supposed to be like that. But it is actually because the form, the green. Now we're going to make the reverse fold. Now do it as big as you want. If you want a baby, um, if you want a baby parrot, then make a big head. But if you want an adult, then I say go like that. And if you want, you can make another fold. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Ain't that cool? <laughs> now if you want to curve the wings, you're going to make a few reverse folds. So let's do that. Now if you do not know what reverse folds are, I'm... I'm zooming in. I'm going to slow the time and you will be able to see what I'm doing. Like that? Look at that. Repeat. Like that. Okay, we are finished the parrot. Now let's make him alive. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Ha! Cock, cock. Hello, buddy. Welcome to Tansy Pansy's world. You will be a great friend here. Cock, cock. You're looking at the viewers. Now you're looking at me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this model. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an upload. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.